Hi, I'm Bill Kanengeiser, and it's a pleasure for me to be here to play for you and also to talk a little bit about La Mancha guitars, which are these wonderful fractional guitars made for players of all sizes and ages. And uh, you may know me a little bit more from my work with the LA Guitar Quartet, and we in the Los Angeles Guitar Quartet are all very dedicated to this idea of uh, education uh, for uh, youth in guitar and especially making sure they can get really good instruments. So we're very passionate about it and like to support them. Uh, I'm going to talk about the guitars a little bit later, but I'm going to start off with a, a piece written by a friend of mine named Mark Small. And it's a piece that's very much in the jazz classical world. And it's dedicated to uh, an amazing jazz artist who uh, we lost in, in February. Uh, Lyle Mays. And many of you probably know that Lyle uh, was a member for years of the Pat Metheny group. And usually at the end of their shows, when Pat would have the audience acknowledge the members of the group, he would say, everybody, please thank Steve Rodby. Please thank Danny Gottlieb. Please thank Lyle Mays. And that's the title of this piece. Please thank Lyle Mays.
Thank you, Lyle Mays. Well, let's uh, let's take a look at one of these guitars. This is a um, a half scale guitar. It's fifty three centimeters, and uh, one of the cool things about La Mancha is they have a developed a way to help measure what size would be right for a player. So they have you put your elbow right here, and then the end of this bone, the ulna bone, uh, should land about around the second fret or so. Um, it's a little small for me, uh, but uh, even though it's a small guitar, you know, the, the way it's made and the way it feels just feels great, plays in tune. And I, I like playing, um, you know, a little lute song on it. So this is a piece by John Dowland. thinks about this. Don, what do you think of this guitar? I think it's excellent. Huh, he likes it. Well, let me get my uh, big boy guitar. This is a beautiful instrument made by Gerno Wagner. And I'm going to play three short pieces by Francisco Tarrega, the great Spanish composer. And uh, it sort of shows how how much Tarraga cared about his family. Uh, the first piece is called Marietta, with those exclamation points, and Marietta was his wife. And so the piece opens with a section that seems like he's calling out for help to Marietta, please help me. And the middle section is very sweet and very carefree, and I think that's Marietta telling him, Francisco, everything will be fine. Uh, the second piece is one of his most beloved pieces called Lagrima, and the word means teardrop. And he wrote it while he was on tour in London and missing his family, family terribly. And uh, he wrote this beautiful piece in E major that's one of the saddest pieces that I've heard in the major key. Uh, and then I'll finish with a piece called Maria, and Maria was his daughter, and you can kind of get a sense from the character of this piece of what kind of person Maria was, very playful and full of energy. So here's three pieces by Tarriga.
Well, let's take a look at this, um, this real little guitar. This is the smallest model that they make. It's a one eighth. So it's only 41 centimeters. Um, and, uh, you know, basically it's, it's kind of like a six string ukulele, but you know, it, it, it sounds pretty good. Sancho, what do you think of it? I think it's excellent. There you go. He likes it too. Well, now I'll play a piece by a, a good friend of mine named Dushan Bogdanovich. And uh, Dushan has written music in so many different styles based on music from all over the world. But one of my favorites of his are his three African sketches. And Dushan really captures the essence of African traditional music uh, with the, the polymeters and, you know, kind of complexity of the rhythms. Um, but also he asks in the first and the third movement to put something strange onto the strings, to imitate the sound of an African harp called the Kora. So I'll explain that in a little bit. Uh, the middle movement is a very calm piece and it's basically, it's a lullaby. In fact, the bass part is an actual traditional lullaby and it's a three part sort of chorale. So here are the three African sketches by Dushan Bogdanovich.
So you're probably wondering <clears throat> what made that sound. But it's actually really simple. They're just normal staples. And I can sort of, maybe you can see it, just kind of take the staple and it's at a kind of an angle. So it slipped over two strings. So it kind of connects the two strings and when you hit one, it rattles against the other. You get that wonderful clangy sound. Well, it's been a pleasure to uh, share some of this music with you and to show you some of these great little guitars. Uh, in the spirit of La Mancha, I'm going to finish up with a Spanish piece. And this is by the great Spanish composer Manuel de Falla, and it's called The Miller's Dance. <laughs>